Hey guys and welcome to sketchbook video number 13. So we got a very special book today and I'll explain why. Um, so as you can see this is a smaller sketchbook. It's about the size of my hand. It's Artist Loft brand so I think this is like basic Michael's craft store. Like it's their brand sketchbook. Um, just gonna say this up front. I only got like halfway through this book before just giving up on life itself. At the time I was using this sketchbook, I was not really doing like illustrations in here, but I was doing illustrations on like Bristol board in like a separate sort of, um, not in a separate sketchbook, but just sort of just loose Bristol board sheets of paper. So that's why this book's gonna have more sketches in it, more like planning and thumbnails and stuff like that. Oh, let's just get in. Um, so like usual, I have a sort of collage of random scrap papers and stickers and just weird stuff I've collected. Um, right, so this is my June 2021 sketchbook to... I don't even know because I didn't put dates on it and I'm not sure when I really just gave up on this book, but it was around December of 2021, so... A couple months is all it took before my brain literally melted in my skull and I just wanted <laughs> this book to be over with. Um, but yeah, of course I got like fruit stickers, watermelon sticker, just weird shit. Um, this is like a pirate flag of um, like the gentleman pirate. I don't really remember his name because like I'm literally <laughs> losing my mind whenever I make these but if you know the gentleman pirate, you know what's up. Yeah, the first page I got this, um, man, what do they call it? Like plain air or like st a still life type thing of like a poppy. I don't know, I went out in the garden and I painted this watercolor, obviously. Um, man, that one cartoon, I don't remember what this movie's called. I don't know why my brain just doesn't want to remember, but... If you know that Pixar movie that came out about the boy, the Italian boy who turns into a fish, then uh, that's good because I have no idea. Uh, got some Orko from He-Man in here. Just some original character stuff. So these were like drawn in Sharpie and then painted with watercolor. Same with this page here. Uh, I was rewatching Lost. So it's kind of funny. This sketchbook I was working in simultaneously with the last sketchbook, my previous one, and this next sketchbook that I have upcoming. Um, so I was sort of working on... This is sort of like the middleman. So he was... This sketchbook was here at the end of the last one and the beginning of the next one. But I don't know. Maybe that's not funny, but... <laughs> That's just like an interesting side note is that this book is sort of like like the it's the Lion King one and a half of my sketchbooks. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Or even what the hell this is. Okay. I was trying to like experiment with this book or something. Uh so I did try to do full size illustrations or whatever you call this, but yeah, like, obviously there's like the seam in the middle. It's just kind of annoying. Why would I do that? Uh, some random jester girl. This one's like a self-portrait type thing. Trying out some landscapes. I don't think these will look very good, but... What can you do? Oh my god, you guys, don't even... Okay, so like... <laughs> so... If you've seen my previous um, sketchbook videos, you see I draw a lot of this character, Orko. Well, he's from, like, He-Man, and I'm really into, like, the original series, like, the 80s version, but I guess in 2021 they came out with, like, a, a reboot type thing, and, oh my god, I feel a lot of things about the reboot, but, <laughs> like, kind of not great, but his design is kind of fun. They made him, like, a cat type thing or something. Like, he's got cat-like eyes. I don't know. Uh, 
uh, this lighthouse I drew in front of the lighthouse, so I was like actually there. That was fun. Uh, I think the Summer Olympics was on, and I was trying to draw some of the acrobatic work. More self-portraits. This is the day I got my learner's permit, apparently. Wow. Some random fairies? Okay. Original character stuff. I kind of like this one. I did an edit. Like, obviously I edited this picture after scanning it, and I think it looks pretty good. Kind of. Like, this character of mine, he never had arms. And then I was looking at some... I think it was like Lolita dresses and stuff, and they have these mannequins with like wooden arms, and I'm like, oh shit, I should just give him wooden arms. So, he's got doll like appendages now. Ah! Okay, yeah, in the summer, I also got into Moomin. I feel like a fraud, okay? Like, I am not, like, I never grew up with Moomin, right? It's just like the aesthetic and the vibe really is banging, like, you know. It's pretty good, so I'll do some stuff from that. My arm is killing me. Um, more movement stuff. Snuffkin. Uh, this was a concept for the monthly character design challenge. I think it was like musical cat. So I was trying to draw my cat playing violin. Trying to come up with a pose. I have some more poses here. Yeah, this book has a lot of like washi tape stickers. I like this one, my character. Bob. Uh, more OC stuff. This picture I did a digital version of. Maybe I'll insert that. That's more work for me in the future, but, you know, you're welcome, me. Okay. A uh, little mushroom. Random sketches. Mm. So, like, back in the day, I drew this painting of, like, an albino medusa, and I was sort of doing some rough drafts on what would that look like in my more, or in my, like, current style, like, how would that look, and I don't know, I still might revisit it. This was a thumbnail for another piece I was working on, which I'm not too happy with. Like, I think this thumbnail looks better than actually, like, the finished piece, unfortunately. It do be like that all the time. Uh, these are more drawing people from life. I used to call these bus people, but I wasn't at the bus when I drew these people, so they need a different name. It was at a vintage car show, so to my dad's car. Uh, more move. Uh, well, snuck in, snuck in, and moving. Too ticky, I believe. Well, that's portrait. Mushrooms. I don't know, maybe it was getting into fall. I think it was around August or something. More Moomin Snufkin. Yeah, the tent. So. Just a random lady and some poppies. Uh, Holly Hobby. It's not like usually painted too, but it was just sort of a sketch, so I'm not putting that in there. I'm sorry. Just know why I painted that digitally. Um, concept thumbnail. For a picture you'll probably see in the future. Like the next video. Yeah. Um, pumpkin still life. Alright, so <laughs> this is fan art for like the Untamed or the series that, or like the, the, what do they call it? The Donghua series. Um, for it and man these the guys from it are so hard to draw because they're so like overly detailed but this was me practicing or not practicing doing like a thumbnail design for a quilt i was working on i'm still working on it actually i kind of had like a hyper fixation or whatever on quilting um in 2021 and it's sort of faded away but i'm really gonna try and finish this quilt because it's basically almost finished i just need to like Stop being freaking lazy. Uh, of course, Beetlejuice. I think it was October, so I have to bring the Juice Man back. 
Except and every time is Beetlejuice time. All year round. <laughs> uh, more stuff from the Untamed. Uh, Wen Ning is my sister's favorite character, so I have to draw him. Oh my god. This is more like um, realism, I guess? I don't know. I don't think I'm still, I don't think I'm that great at drawing like realistic people, but I try. Uh, some OC stuff. It's my sister and I's OC. Mine is the wizard and hers is the sheriff. And then I got the wizard and the sheriff again. This is really kind of gross to look at, to be honest. <laughs> which is probably, like, I never, some of this stuff I never scanned or, like, show it anyone. Which is fine because, you know, a sketchbook. A sketchbook can be a personal thing, you know? You don't want to show it everything, but... I did a lot of failed art. These were um, sort of like little thumbnail practice sketches for what I wanted my um, custom acrylic standy to look like. So this Snufkin and Moomin. And the idea is like Moomin's like running up to meet Snufkin. And I think it turned out pretty good. I might go and like grab it real quick. My standy looks like this. I'm gonna be like shrink eating stuff. So from like this side, it looks pretty good. But then when you turn it around, it's like a painted mess. But yeah, that's what that looks like. Uh, more OC stuff. It's nice to see a lot of original character stuff at this time because uh, in the present day, I am not drawing a lot of original character work. Um, yeah, speaking of which, uh, so I guess, yeah, so this is like just, no, it's just Thanksgiving or what? Okay, whatever time it was when Spider-Man No Way Home came out, I got like extremely obsessed with Doc Ock, so there's gonna be a lot of Doc Ock paintings and drawings, and not just in this book, but like the next one, like I was saying, like this is like a mid, middle book, so the book that I have that's almost done has a lot more of the Doc Ock stuff in it, but, um, I'm just warning you. <laughs> it kind of encompassed my life. And then also around this time, I remember my art not being as, I don't know, like, I feel like something was missing from it. So I'm like, okay, let's go do some basics. That's what people say. So I'm like, let's look at some life drawing and try to draw some, like, you know, stuff that I feel like I have a difficult time with, like waists, the like torsos, uh, the shoulder blades, I have a hard time drawing. Um, of course, here's more Doc Ock. I think those sketches kind of help a little bit. More Doc Ock. <laughs> this one I painted digitally. I might... Oh, I don't think I have this one on its own. So yeah, well, but just know he's... There's a digital version of him out there. It's like more... <laughs> he looks so goofy. Oh my god. Okay, well... Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> oh my god. This was some thing where I'm like... Like, her head's up and then lower. And this character... With his arm again. <laughs> I, mean, I guess you could see, like, when I don't know what to draw, I just... <laughs> I literally just draw my, um... My same character over and over and over and over again. Um, I kind of like this little chibi awk. So I don't know what was up with like the magenta color here. There's like a self... self portrait. More just... These are conceptual sketches for something. Like a thumbnail. So was this. Um, I had this dream about this like alien guy. Like a gray alien. And he was like cold, so we gave him like a winter coat. I don't know. Um, love that guy. Man, oh, sure. Really bad. I don't know. Blank page. Very nice. Uh, some concept stuff of another character of mine. I really like this drawing. Like, I forget I had this, or I I made this. I think this looks kind of good. <laughs> That's like the best compliment I could give myself. That looks okay. That looks all right. Uh, this stuff I obviously gave up on. 
Yeah, so we're nearing sort of the end, and this is indeed where I sort of give up. I don't even know what this stuff was supposed to be. Okay, here's some sketches. Sketch of my cat. He's so cute. Uh, some old guy. Sorry, there's like voices in the background. It's like people I live with. <laughs> um, this is like a real life sketch, like plain air. I know there's a better name for it, but I'm not. It's not like a still life. I don't know. This is like downtown by the coast. Uh, this is my mom in the car driving. Um, Oh, that's right. I was volunteering at an art fair, and I was trying to do some, like, caricature work of the people I saw walking around the fair. It didn't last too long. And then some... I don't know, plants? Uh, just some random... I think I was planning some sort of drawing with this character. I don't hate this layout. I kind of like it. Maybe I'll come back to that. And I think, yeah, with that, that's, that's, um, so yeah, that's this little tiny little book, number 13. Um, yeah, I kind of just gave up because it's falling apart, it's too small, it kind of represents a different time for me, like, I'm not this person anymore. This was 2021. It's 2023 now. I'm different. <laughs> I don't know, that's stupid. But anyway, I just want to move on. So um, the next book, I don't know when I'll upload it, but stay tuned. I promise there'll be a new video. It's just I've been away for a few months at college and I'm back for the summer. So, so yeah, that was sketchbook number 13. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.